Hello friends, it's me, Cynthia with Knits by Scent. Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a great, safe, healthy, and happy holiday season and um, New Year celebration. I just came to do a quick little video update today. Um, you know me, I do it every now and then. <laughs> no sense in me, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to keep to a schedule. I, I just can't seem to do that right now, but that's okay. So what, right? So look what I finished. Oh, I guess I should do it this way. So this is my night shift shawl. I really, 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 really like this thing. I'm excited it didn't take I mean I mean it took a couple of weeks but what I meant to say was that it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be so this is a um, mosaic knit by Andrea uh, Mowry sorry I had to think of her her last name I had to get it right I think that's her name yeah this is not the yarn that came with the um, the pattern. I did buy a kit. I treated it myself. Um, that was a while ago. Oh, a good while ago. Probably even early last year. So I did mention this um, project a couple of videos ago, or, or at least on my last video. Um, and I was nowhere near finished at that time. I just have to weave in my ends and actually these this side they're already weaved in I just have to cut them off and I have to uh, sorry I have to um, block it but this was pretty darn easy um, you know lots of slip stitches lots of mostly knitting and a little bit of purling not not too crazy so just as a reminder, let me grab these here. I used these six different self-changing colorways. I'll try to get all those colors up in there. Yep. I had a lot of the Roll With It Melage oh, yarns um, from before the days of COVID. I had got it from Hobby Lobby one of these actually still has a price tag on it yeah it was $6.99 <laughs> when I bought all these um, and I use less than a skein for each part you need um, well I, I guess I honestly didn't really have to do six different colors because the, the yarn changes colors itself but I went with it it was fine I, I really love it my sister um, I was working on it last week. I was uh, visiting my sister, my sisters, and um, my oldest sister was looking at it, and I'm like, yeah, I know I'll be making another one, which is totally cool. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably try to get hers done for her birthday in September, so. But, so the colorways I used, uh, let's see. This one is Hollywood. Um, this is Green Room. Now, I did buy... I didn't have to buy any more green room. I had like a ball left from when I did my um, undertone, really ginormous long uh, knitted scarf. Um, the one with this um, center decrease um, spine. I'm going up the up the center. But for my sister's scarf, I did want to buy, I wanted to use this color again. So I bought a new one. I got it from Amazon. Kind of hurt to pay the price for that because it's twice the amount I paid for the original cakes that I got oh well um, and then I used um, autograph this is just another cake that I had the rest of the one I was using is over there and let's see theater it's got like some browns these two are kind of close but not the same uh, this one's showtime And I only used a very little bit of that one. And this one is paparazzi. Let's see, you can probably see that. Let's see, they're very similar. Let's see, but 
but not the same. This one's more vibrant. Yeah. And, you know, and then you get this. The only thing is, you just have that tiny little bit of the brighter color here, like just right here. So I think in hindsight, I would probably just repeat this color somewhere else. I don't know. But either way, I still like it. You can, because of all the colors I use, I can wear this with a multitude of things. So a lot of different colors. I really like it. I started this like, um, let's see. I think it was Thanksgiving thereabouts because I know I went up to New York right after Thanksgiving and I had, I was working on it then at that time. So, um, you know, and I, again, I work full time. I was also working on a couple of other projects. In the meantime, my, my dad had asked me to make him a, um, like a skull cap as he calls it. And I don't have it with me. I forgot to take a picture, but I basically just used some, uh, black, um, yarn, a uh, worsted weight yarn. And I did a four by four ribbing of the entire hat and yeah, uh, I, I knitted it. So it was pretty, pretty easy. And I, um, I do recall, I think it was, um, 5.0 millimeter knitting needles. And I think I started with a four for the brim for like two, three inches for the, the, the brim part. And then I uh, went up to a larger size for the rest of the hat and um, I cast it on like 88 stitches. So it was, it was really easy. So I made that for him and he has it. Yeah. All right. So yes, I'm glad I got that finished and other than just blocking and weaving in my last two, um, ends. Oh, I will say about this project, um, learn something new besides the mosaic knitting because this is my first mosaic knitting project is learning how to do the i cord um the i you know you start with an i cord where's the bottom okay here we go so here <laughs> i started here this is this is the green room and um this purple that purple yarn and when I first started I was like oh my goodness I really like this but anyway so you start with this I cord kind of like cast on yeah it's a little messed up but you know it's my first time and then you do the I cord on both sides all the way up and then you do a I cord bind off and it's kind of curling right now. I do have to block it. And it's really cool because you just do the I cord bind off using the two colors that you finished your last uh, rows with. So there are videos out there on how to do it. I don't know if I would have done it without the videos, quite honestly, because I'm like, I, I don't even know how to do an I cord and crochet. So, but yeah. So I learned the, that technique and also with my really big undertone scarf, I learned how to do a center, um, a double, wait, a center double decrease stitch, which gives you like that seam. So I learned those techniques this year. So that was pretty cool in knitting. So moving on. So my friend that I did the butterfly shawl for with the shades of like the pink and reds and like the rose colors she wants another one in shades of blue now that yarn i it was a self-changing cake of cotton yarn and i don't have that with like shades of of blue so i do have these mini skeins i don't know if you can see them up there behind me that pack right those are packs right there of mini skeins but i took out all the um the I took a white and shades of blue. I have them kind of set aside and I don't want to get up to dig for them. But anyway, they're all the same weight of cotton yarn. And I'm just going to do, you know, so many rows. I think like once I have 
five butterflies. I'm gonna measure and see how many how many uh, inches does doing a set of getting to a set of five in each um, multiples of five I should say in each color like how big will that be because my friend is not that big like I don't even think she reached five feet I think she told me she's 411 <laughs> now she might make it five feet with her shoes but <laughs> she's really small so I don't you know I don't want this to like drown her so I have to be mindful of that but um, I am gonna measure how much how big this is just with having the third set which is you know three on each side so I'll see how you know from the center to the point and then figure out the math from there so yeah because I don't want it too too big I don't think she'll care honestly but I do um yeah so I'll do that in shades of blue as you can see I started that and I am still figuring out what to do for my husband's blanket. I haven't worked on it. Um, it's still here. I haven't taken it out. <laughs> Just where I left it. But I did come across, um, across this pattern here. And in the pattern they're using a bulky six this is by yarn inspirations it's a mosaic blanket it happens to be in blue and gold um, but I think I think I want to try this uh, I really enjoyed the mosaic knitting I really enjoyed that a lot so I, I, I believe somewhere in the pattern if I remember correctly it's yeah multiples of 12 so plus three so at least I can figure out like the stitch count um, I can swatch, you know, just do a swatch with the yarn I'm going to use and get an idea of how many repeats I need to um, cast on to get the, the width that I want and see how that goes. But, you know, apparently you just need to know how to knit and purl, um, slip with the front and with the yarn in back, slip with the front, slip, slip with the yarn in front. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to give that a shot. Let me just put it here with the yarn. That is my goal to get this thing done this year. I've been like slacking. And he's like, don't worry about it, honey. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I have, I made him a hat. I was thinking I haven't made my husband one single thing. And I do remember I did actually make him a hat a few years ago um, and he does wear it he does wear it so a couple of products to talk about so I was watching cozy crochet um, in you know most of crochets she had uh, did a what do you call it a short clip on these it's called scented stitches so I was like oh so basically they're little balms this one's called new day which is like a separate a little separate one it's probably coming up backwards on your screen but they're this is a mini set by the way because the hers are the ones she got they're bigger um but i couldn't decide like which one do i want to try i don't want to they're like ten dollars a piece and i'm like i don't want to buy the balm and i get it and i don't like the scent so i had got like the mini um, pack of the different scents so there's calm confidence cheer and power um, and then new day new day <laughs> they have mood food on here um, kind of reminds me of eucalyptus a little bit yeah that's the best way I can describe it I like it so you, you know you put it wherever you, your yarn will touch you know you put it on your fingers and then when you're crocheting or knitting as it slides through, you know, it goes on, it'll scent the yarn. So, so I got, um, two packs of the mini samples. And you know, yes, it's for knitting, crocheters. I think if you handle yarn, 
you know. You deserve it. <laughs> so, yeah, so far I, I like the, the eucalyptus one. It smells good. I did smell the other ones. There was one. It might have been here. Oh, and you know what? I can't do it now because <laughs> I keep smelling the eucalyptus. So I'm not even going to smell the rest of it. I did, I did like give them a sniff, and um, they're not bad. There was one that I can't remember which one it was. It might have been Confidence. I'm not sure. Um, that was just like, yeah. I probably wouldn't. I would probably wouldn't purchase that one. Um, but anyway, so um, it's not real greasy. It's you know, it's really. Um, I don't know, I guess like a nice moisturizer a little bit, you know, for your tips. And I, I believe it says like after so many rows, you might need to reapply it. So I probably won't do that only because I just, I probably won't um, like pay that much attention to like, oh, row 12, I'll reapply afterwards. Yeah, no, I won't do it. Okay, so then the other project, a project, product I'm going to talk about is this is called a Big Sully. It is a yarn ball holder. I've been meaning to order one of these for the longest time. And actually, um, the yarn company Maxim, they used to sell it. I don't know if they sell it anymore. I haven't seen it in their magazines recently. I still get their magazines and I still get their text messages and stuff and I will look. Um, but I think they want to just way too much money for it honestly at that time and I'm like yeah no I'm not no so I did um, order this from Amazon what's pretty cool about this is that yes you can use it with two balls of yarn or a single one so let's talk about the top I don't know if you can see that hopefully you can see like the little numbers on there and so there's holes correlating with the numbers and that's you know to measure out your the size of your hook or your um, needle if, it, if the size wore off on it you know how that happens when it's painted on and not grooved into the the um, tool and then it's like I don't know if this is a 4.5 or a 5 or whatever so you know you can just stick them down in the holes and it tells you you know what size you're you're using and this is this bigger hole this is a needle and hook docking station. So I guess when you're pausing your work, you just stick them in there. I actually didn't do that. That's funny, but that makes sense. And then you have holes where the yarn can come out of in the front. And if you're doing uh, two cakes, and it has a little rubber thing, a little clicky thing. So if you're doing one, you know, you can just take, let me just grab this floppy skein of yarn here and sh shove it through. So the other thing is, oh, okay, that works. So you just, sh of course this would be better with a brand new skein of yarn, but this is working. Get in there. And then you put your ringy thing on and you can't see that yet. Anyway, and I just put the little cap back on. Because I think if you try to put it in there with this ring on it, it's going to catch the inside of your yarn and probably annoy you a little bit. All right, so then you can take the centerpiece out. When I used it, I took it out. Because although I used, I put two cakes of the um, uh, roll with it yarn while I was working on the night shift shawl but this is really for like smaller balls of yarn it doesn't fit well with that so you take the little rings and they sit right in a groove there can't do it in the air sorry get it on there and you do it on both sides Decide which hole you want it to come out of. I'll just, let's see, that one's from the center. 
Actually, I probably would do from the outside. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just wrap the yarn around. Let's see if I can. Well, this is just for demonstration. I'm not actually going to use it right now. Just so you can get an idea. All right. And then you close it up. And so obviously if you're using thicker yarn, you have bigger holes to choose from. Don't let your yarn get clamped in there just like I did. No big deal. Just push that little centerpiece, pops open, shove it in there a little better. Only because, you know, you go to spin it and it gets caught. <laughs> Alrighty then. Again, this is not a brand new skein of yarn, so that's why I'm fighting. I think I have to fight with it so much right now. It's not nice and neat, but you get the idea, yeah? All right. So when you're working, the idea is that it will keep spinning for you. And so I, I had took this to my yarn group. So I go to my local yarn uh, library has, we call our, our group is called Naughty Knitters. And um, for whatever you choose to do, knit, crochet, whatever. And I had this out. I had my two, you know, cakes of yarn in it. And I'll show you how I had them in here. And they're like, Cynthia, where did you get that? Like, that is so cool. One of, one of my... Uh, fellow fellow knitters she's like yeah a cat aggravator because apparently she's got a cat and you know cat and yarns they're they're a thing like they go way back in time apparently um but it would just probably irritate the cat because it can't get to the yarn so i thought that was kind of funny because i'm like yeah you're probably right um but anyway so that's the idea like for if you're using a skein of yarn So how I used it, let me just take this off, pull that out, if I had a cat it would probably never leave this room if it had its, cho um, if it's, if it had its choice. So how I had my yarn in, I had the center pull st string out one side and then the center pull string out on the other side and I had the bottoms buttered up against each other and I just squished them down in there close it up and then I just center use the center pull and well no, that one's out okay and so then because when you're like with the mosaic right um the yarns will crisscross. I just picked it up, turned it around, picked it up, turned it around. So my yarn didn't get real tangled up until I was doing the I cord bind off. Then it was getting a little tangled up because you're knitting three stitches um, and then you slip them back to the other needle. Well, basically you knit two and then you knit the, the third stitch. You're knitting two together for the next stitch and then you slip those three back on and then you go to the next color and you're doing that all the way to the end. So your yarn is going to get tangled up. Um, so every now and then I would have to like untwist the yarn. And I, eventually I just took took uh, the yarn out and I would just take one of the cakes and just kind of like wrap it around, unwrap it from each other. Because that, that was the, the thing um, with the bind off. And, you know, I think you'll have that problem even if it's using this thing or, or not. It's going to twist. Um, and for that reason, it took longer than probably necessary. I wasn't rushing to do, get the bind off done, but it, that didn't help. I digress. So anyway, so that's how I use for like with two cakes in here. And if you have, um, you know, smaller cakes, like for example, the little Kaboo, you know, they're smaller. in there so with that you know 
I would still have the center pull going out but you can use the little white thing to help lift it up some so that it's more um, leveled with the, the holes on the side. So yeah. Um, I got this from Amazon. I think it was about $28, I believe. There's another piece I don't have on here. I wonder if it's in my bag here, because I did have it in, in my bag. Let me see. Yep, I almost forgot. It comes with a strap also. And the strap serves two purpose. So one, you can, you know, carry it like so. But it also has, I don't know if you can see it because it's so dark. It's a measuring tape. I don't know if you can see that. You might not be able to really see it, but it's also a measuring tape. So yeah, it measures, uh, so it goes up to 13 inches 13 inches or for some reason I can't see upside down now 23 no I'm sorry 33 centimeters yeah I I like it I like it um one of my naughty knitter friends she's like Cynthia you have the best tech tools <laughs> There's really nothing. To, well, I guess it's kind of technical in a way. I, su I suppose it's a different technology. Uh, yeah. So that's what I've been up to. That's my, you know, little updates. And um, so I'll keep you posted on my projects um, that I'll be working on. And I know Finish It February is coming, and I do have some projects I need to finish up. I will talk about those soon you've seen them before I hope I get them done I really do I probably should actually like work on those before I really honestly work on anything else there's two shawls they both are um, Tunisian crochet projects that's what I really should do do I want to no no I don't but I might because one of them my inter internet um, Tunisian crochet shawl is actually closer to being finished than the other one so maybe I'll try to get that one done for sure yeah we'll see what, what happens okay so that's all I have today and if you're wondering about my hat actually I did not make this hat I'm gonna take it off I wish I had the pattern to this hat this I have a navy blue one I got these little hats, they're exactly the same. I got these little hats at some little mom and pop hair supply store when I lived in uh, New York. It could have been 20 years ago at this point, honestly. I do not remember. It was a long time. And whoever knitted these things, whatever machine made them most likely, because there's a lot of them out there, they did a good job. And it's my favorite hats to wear they're soft they're lightweight except when it's really really cold out because it is not really warm enough <laughs> um but i like them and i wish i could find the pattern i don't know what what it's called i've looked up leaf patterns but it's not it um and i know there's like make one left and make one right right just by looking at it i can tell that but i would try to make i would try to make this hat if i could um and make it in different colors because it is my favorite hat to wear. The, this one and the navy blue one, like I said, they're exactly the same. And it's made for like, um, I think a lightweight number three or something. I don't know. I don't know, but I like it. But that's all I got for you guys today. So happy new year to everyone. Um, and, you know, stay healthy, stay well, and keep crocheting, keep knitting, keep, you know, keep creating um, and um, just enjoy life. All right. That's it. Peace out.